The iMac is one of the most iconic computers ever. It's been around since Apple's rebirth, yet unlike the iPhone, I think there still is room for improvement, especially because of that one feature that is still missing after all those years. So here's my concept of the best iMac Apple could ever make. The first thing I changed is the stand. The stand is one of the major design flaws of not just the new iMac, but also of every model since the G5. It doesn't look bad, that's not the point, but for some reason it has a fixed height. The only adjustment you can do is the tilt angle and that's about it. This is far from ideal ergonomics wise. In my concept however, you can change the height as much as you want, which is something that will also come into play later. Something I haven't changed is the chin. I really don't see the point of getting rid of it when the display cannot be rotated 90 degrees. It's not like it creates unnecessary padding between the Mac and another display the user may have for example, and it's such an iconic element of the iMac that it's simply not worth removing. Now, one of my inspirations for this concept, besides the Pro Stand obviously, it's the iMac G4. This is one of the coolest Macs Apple ever did. This design was born out of technical limitations, namely, the disk drive needed to lay horizontally. But the final result, I'd argue, was actually better than what they did next. This was the first time to have a flat screen, and they wanted to emphasize this aspect. After all, what's the point of a flat screen if you have to put all the hardware behind it? In my concept, the real computer, alongside all the ports, are contained inside of this tiny box, so that the screen can really feel impossibly thin. On the topic of ports, I think this solution may actually be better for cable management, but obviously that's not the only reason why this concept looks like this. It's finally time to talk about the main new feature of this Mac, the touchscreen. People have been asking for Macs with touchscreens for god knows how long, and I mean, it's not a mystery why Apple never made one. Steve Jobs even explained it during the iPad announcement. We've done tons of user testing on this, and it turns out it doesn't work. Touch surfaces don't want to be vertical. After a short period of time, you start to fatigue, and after an extended period of time, your arm wants to fall off. It doesn't work. It's ergonomically terrible. Touch surfaces want to be horizontal. And I agree. It's true that it doesn't make sense on a laptop, but this isn't a laptop. This display can be horizontal. And by the way, I'm not inventing anything here. This would basically be Apple's version of the Microsoft Surface Studio. But even though this fixes the arm wanting to fall issue, the point of the touchscreen is not to interact with the UI using your fingers. Also because that would require developers to rethink many apps just to accommodate for this new input method on this single Mac. It has a touchscreen simply to support the Apple Pencil. And ideally, I think this would be enough but it's Apple we are talking about. Would they be okay with shipping such an inconsistent experience that requires the user to constantly switch between using the pencil and the mouse or the trackpad? Because, again, the only other solution would be to make it mandatory for any app on the App Store to support touch. But how could something like this be justified if it's just for one Mac that's also going to be extremely expensive and niche? I mean, maybe there is a way out of this problem I haven't considered, but to be honest, I'd rather have their design team fix some more urgent and regular usage issues, like the ones I talked about and tried to fix in this video here. Check it out if you want. Ciao!